the supplies for this activity, I used a piece of watercolor paper cut into about three by three inches. I'm going to use a marker. You can use any color that you wish. And, well, at a recent grocery trip, I found some wonderful new crayons, the colors of kindness. And I figured the world could really use some more kindness right now. So we're going to use these for our neurographic art today. Again, you can use any kind of medium you like. Crayons, markers, paints, they all work. And there are no rules. To start, we're just going to make a scribble. I like to just put all my stress into the scribble. Then I'll want to continue the lines. If I've had one that stops middle of the page, I'm just going to continue it off of the page. This is where I find the calm really starts to set in. Every place we see that a line crosses another, we are going to round out those corners. So this can take quite a while and it really draws you into focus. You become very present when you're looking for those cross marks and then smooth out those lines and it's what makes it look a bit like neurons in the end. I learned about neurographic art a few years ago and it has become a standard part of my creative practice. The great thing is it doesn't require any drawing skill and you can use almost any type of medium. Watercolors, crayons, markers, It was discovered and created by Russian psychologist Pavel Piskarev, and it uses a drawing process that links the conscious with the subconscious by activating connections between brain cells and neurons. In fact, you'll find that the results kind of look like neurons, and the result when you're done is a sense of mindfulness that helps turn stress into calm. In fact, research shows that the act of just making art is good for the brain. It decreases stress levels and increases focus.
Now that we have finished rounding out all of those tight corners and crosses, we can start to add some color. <laughs> 